I have a new friend. I really, really like this lady. I'm assuming you're a lady. And her name is Lady K. I gotta read this to you because this is great. That's great. They say, they, that's the trick here. I'll never believe they. They say to remove power from something, we must simply remove our attention from it and it shall dissipate. This is not accurate. And see, this is how words are so important. I'll read the rest of it, but let me stop here. Um, no, what, when you remove attention from it, what it does is it means that you're no longer creating that circumstance or using that vibration. The vibration doesn't go away. It simply gets used. It, it simply goes back into the now. Okay? It's like having all the colors of the rainbow and you say, today, I'm going to look at green, purple, and blue. Okay, now tomorrow, I'm going to look at red, white, and green. Okay, the first three did not go away. They're still there. It's just you're focusing on different ones now. Okay? So because you're in a human body, a skin suit, that I know humans like to think that if they don't notice it anymore, it dissipates and it goes away. That's not true. Nothing goes away. Uh, nothing's ever created either. You just simply put different vibrations together for a different experience. And then when you don't experience it anymore, it goes back to the whole. Now, hopefully that made sense. Now she says, some also say removing attention from someone or something is the worst thing you can do as it is damaging to the person thing you remove your attention from. Essentially, you are killing by no longer giving your time, love, effort to the other person or item. Okay, uh, you can't kill anything. It may be the illusion that it looks like you're killing anything, but you can't. Um, nothing can happen to any, anything or anyone without its uh, agreement. So it, in this place, it is the game to have the illusion that those things are happening, but it's really, it's just a game. It's just a game. Okay, so... Everything has access to source. Everything is tied together. We are all one. Therefore, you can't kill anything. Because, well, you can't. Uh, that'd be, uh, it's just not. You're just shifting perspective is all, all the energy is doing. And you're shifting perspective from one thing to another. So in your mind, it would look like that person is going away. Or they might even die in your timeline. But they didn't die. There's no such thing as death. I know I died. I didn't go anywhere. Nothing went away. Um, if I went away out of this body, and then that leads to the next one, we see this by a house will rot and eventually fall down after years of neglect, or a plant will die if not watered or fed. But your assumption is that it went away. It didn't. It just changed forms. That's not going away. Nothing went away. It just changed forms. It's like um, water... When it goes from water to ice to steam, it didn't go away. It just changed forms. That's all. And um, as long as you're not using it, that energy is free to go and be something else. It all has consciousness. It just, if you want it to be a house, it agrees with you that it will be the house for you. And then when nobody wants it to be a house, and it that part of the consciousness wants to be something else, it simply looks like it goes back and goes away. It's just transforming. That's all it is. Okay, people go through the same thing as well, hence why people may constantly search for their soulmate and do better in families. Also, some, why some seek fame and need constant attention. They do not realize we're powerful without the validation. The only validation we absolutely need is our own recognition of our power. And that's true of the house. It's also true of everything and everyone. It's just that uh, you do not, you cannot damage someone else if you withdraw yourself. Now, they can feel like they're being damaged, or you can have the appearance that that house has fallen apart because you didn't give it attention. But that's simply an agreement by all powerful consciousnesses that are allowing each other to have the game so that it looks like it is that way when it's not really that way at all. 
Others seek to be completely alone and do best on their own, becoming extremely protective of their energy. The ones who choose solidar solitary life have realized their power and know they control their own reality. Now, see, I, I would disagree with that. I would disagree with that because I think it's a lot easier to be independent. It is a lot harder from my perspective, and that's all this is, is my perspective. From my perspective, it is a lot harder to hold on to my knowingness that I don't need anything else if I'm around a lot of people. Because it's too easy. You know, I'm 59 years old. There's too many triggers of people glancing sideways. And my instinct is to go, oh, what are they upset about? What can I do? How can I fix it? Those things, those little tiny triggers about... Uh, and they happen all the time. It's a lot harder to do when I'm in people. So I get around people all the time to practice. Because ultimately, the deal is to merge back with all that is and not be triggered by any of that. To know that I am to not care, like my previous videos. To not care what anybody else is doing, saying, thinking, or, or creating. It has nothing to do with me. It's a lot easier to do that out in the wild. Uh, easy for me to be all-powerful out in the wild. Much harder for me to remember that I'm all-powerful in the middle of a group of people or in the middle of a city. But then that's just my perspective. So I would say that your statements are awesome. It's just, they're just accuracies that you've collected and there's a lot more accuracies to be collected. These are true, a part of the truth, but there's a lot more part of the truth. And I think that... And I think that is the point. And I think you sharing your thoughts and the vast difference is exactly my point. That all of this are accuracies. The trouble with whenever I talk to people is I have to talk to people from a certain perspective if I'm going to be able to talk to them. When I'm just talking blanket statements on videos, I'm talking big, big, big picture here, guys. When you frequently ask me questions, it is from your perspective. So, the original video will be the perspective of all that is, whereas my answer to an individual question will be from the perspective of the person answering the question, asking the question. And since I can very easily find the person and see their perspective, frequently the answers that I have for one person might not be the same answer that I'll have from somebody else. But if you'll ask me to clarify, I'll pull it back from a perspective of all that is. Thank you, Lady K, for your your statements, your comments, your thinking. I love it. I love it. Keep them coming. Huge guys. Okay. Now, be sure and push the bell so you can get my videos. Please comment and ask me questions or just comment. I, I don't care. Let's talk. I'm just a regular person just like you. Uh, please subscribe. Tell your friends. Thumbs up is good. I don't know if I know all these rules yet, but I'll get the hang of it, right? Okay, I love you guys so much. Huge hugs, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.